Hey there, you guys. This is going to be a celebrity psychic reading for um, Chris Brown and Karuchi. I don't know if I'm saying her name right. Tran. So, um, I had seen a post on Instagram today from one of the gossip sites that I guess she's claiming that he threatened to kill her. And there's some other stuff that's still like coming out that someone over a neighbor or someone overheard him beating her up or something so I just wanted to see um look into the situation and see what I get um to see if we can like what's behind all of this what's everyone's motives and intentions possibly how it will unfold if I can predict how it's gonna um what the outcome is gonna be of this situation I haven't done one of these in a while but I do know that at least three of them that I have done. The Soldier Boy and um, Chris Brown fight, I did predict that they would call it off, that it wouldn't even happen. And they did post something that it's not happening. So I was on that. I was right on that. Um, Drake and J-Lo, their <laughs> so-called relationship wouldn't see um, past winter time, which obviously you didn't. I think everybody saw that coming though. So. But um, Rihanna and Chris Brown, um, that you would hear him kind of flirting with her or at least showing some type of interest. And I know of two instances, there was rumors that they had went to a restaurant together or something, um, saw each other secretly or whatever. And recently on her birthday, liking pictures of her. So I'm just, that's just, I guess... I could say that I'm spot on on some of the things. I'm still patiently waiting for the Beyonce one to see if I predicted that right. Her gender, her babies, her twins. Um, another psychic that I really like, her name is Tracy Brown, the pop culture psychic on YouTube and Instagram. She's pretty spot on. And I didn't want to watch her um, Karoo Jane, Chris Brown incident reading just yet until I did my own, you know, just to see what I get first before I do that. If you guys are familiar with her or you're not, I would check her out. I love her reading. She's always spot on with her predictions. So I'm going to go ahead and get into it. All right, spirits. I ask for highest guidance, highest truth. I ask for clarity. What is going on in the situation with Chris Brown and Karuchi? Where is she at with all of this? Where is she at? With this situation, where is her energy? Mm. The crown chakra. A lot of sevens. Goodness. Seven is divine energy. Okay. What does she know? Because it's like she knows something. Clarify. Clarify. So she knows something about the Emperor, which I'm take is I'm getting is Chris Brown, obviously. Patience and planning. Hmm. I will say, um, she has like something on Chris Brown. It's almost like it's almost like she thinks she's the emperor too though it's like she's i don't know this is just what i'm getting like she wants to knock um chris brown off of his throne so to speak but she has some type of wisdom or knowledge or something um her emotions right now is she's kind of prepping and planning for something like she's kind of waiting things out um she definitely has some type of tricks up her sleeve she's doing something Through her perception, whatever this action she's thinking about taking as a page of wands is something that's like kind of frivolous, not much thought, especially as the fool. You're, you're feeling like the fool, meaning like she's feeling like she can just do something out on a, um, out of character almost, like something frivolous that is going to transform something for her. It's going to change her stability. Um, She's creating some type of stability or change in her life. 
overall though mentally she is conflicted by this she's still trying to figure out what to do it's like almost like she didn't really have much of a plan when she said what she said it was like maybe she didn't think it was gonna get out of hand as it did i don't know she's like she is almost like she she was guided she was guided to to start this whether it was her reaching out to the media or something and bringing about this whole drama she didn't really plan it all the way through it's like she has a goal that something is going to happen for her her life is going to change in a good way she wants it obviously to benefit her but it's like she's not seeing all the way through all of the the stages of how she's going to make that happen so she's still feeling like she's got to get some things together but she's gonna do something frivolous to get it at the bottom of the deck i have the queen of pentacles karuchi is a, a taurus so this is like a earth sign woman but also this is about luxuries obviously beauty finances so that's kind of what's in the back of all of this at the other bottom of the deck i have wisdom so it's like she knows what she's doing, what changes she wants to make, obviously, with the Hierophant, which is the Wisdom card. Okay, so let's see where Chris is at with all of this. So I definitely think it's like for her to advance herself financially, like that's where it's at. Like, it's pretty much like this. This is the energy I'm getting. Anything I bring out about him, whether it's the truth or not, I'm going to look into that, though. But whether it's the truth or not that he threatened to kill her, she could have, you know, just said it knowing that whatever she says about him that's, that's dramatic, drama-filled, it's going to benefit her in some way because it's going to put me back in the limelight and I'm going to get something out of it. Where is Chris at with all of this? yeah he might be a little bit stressed but not really so that makes me believe that something is not all that it seems obviously clarify where he's at so I'm scared to clarify hmm. all right yeah, he's pretty good. Um, and he is the king of pentacles at the bottom. It's funny. And he's a Taurus too. So that's funny. Then he has the sacral chakra. So I'll get into all of that. Where he's at mentally with the situation is he's like moving past whatever they had. He's like, whatever loyalty he had towards her, or whatever connection he thought he had with her, that's done with the chariot. Like moving on. I'm done with it. Um... It's like he's seeing her for what she is. She's trying to advance herself. She's trying to move somewhere successfully. And he sees that. He's recognizing that. Um, it's like he knows her. The, the Six of Harmony is like the lovers in, in traditional tarot. So it's like a spiritual connection. So it's like he knows her who she really is on a deep level. So he sees what she's doing. And he's moving past her. He's not. It's like whatever. Um emotionally he has obstacles and challenges so it's like again another spiritual challenge for me another thing it's like he's always being thrown a curveball with some drama or he's always being involved in it and he's feeling like that but he's pretty confident that this energy is going to pass it's not something that's going to stick with him he, he's not seeing that especially with the five here and this car is all about shifts and changes so he's not he knows this isn't a permanent deal to so something that he's just another curveball, just another stage he's going to have to leap and jump over. It's not that detrimental to him is what he's feeling like. His perception of this new beginnings in the will of fortune. It's like this is a cycle. Again, this is something that is going to shift. It's almost like he's looking at maybe other things in his life ties into this like his world something has got to change like i'm gonna get out of this it's like he believes that the divine is working for him is turning the wheel it's like that saying jesus take the wheel it's like he trusts that a higher power 
is steering all of this and getting him out of this old energy into a new beginning. It's not focused on that, this situation. It's like he's not that worried about it as people might think. With the triumphant successes of overall energy with the moon card, he he may not be able to see that he's going to get out of this on the surface. Like It might seem like people are coming at him. People believe her or it might seem like, you know, everybody's against me again. But deep down inside, he knows that he's going to triumph over this. This is like divine energy. So he has that divine belief that this is going to pass. This isn't nothing. And he's the king of Pentacles too. So it's like whatever she's working to do, he's still going to be the king of Pentacles. He's still going to be stable with her. However, this turns out, he's comfortable. That's what I'm getting. He's not phased by this. With the sacral chakra, he's very rooted and very grounded. He's not allowing this situation to overtake him is what I'm getting. It's just another curveball thrown at him. It's how he's looking at it. I'm getting like the more these things come up for him, the more people put him in a bad light. I always have something to say about him or try to get him involved in some drama. He just sees it as another cold ball. And he's the more that happens, the more he's not going to be phased by it anymore. He just sees it as, you know, people are just fucking with me. And it's almost like it's a lesson, a divine lesson for him. And I feel like he's passing. <laughs> he's not phased by it. So I want to see. Um, I'm just going to ask, is Karuche being totally truthful and honest about what she's doing? Is Karuche being... Truthful and honest. Truthful and honest. First off, what is her intentions? What is her true intentions with all of this? The waiting game. Clarify. It's like not really clear. It's like she doesn't really know now she might have had something in mind but now it's kind of like she's waiting to see it's like that planning again yeah she's kind of just going with the flow now she doesn't really know what what she's wanting now like what her true intentions are this is like someone who's very like unstable emotionally unstable to me like you got some stuff going on so I feel like the space that she was in when she did this, something to do with the moon phase. I don't know how, how like this correlates, but it's like something like she saw an opportunity to do something, but now it's like she's not sure what's going to come of this or what do I do now? I still need to prep and plan on this. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. She doesn't have a clear intent. Is she being honest with her allegations? Is she being honest? divine spirit is she being truthful if i get a clear yes if i get a clear no if i get a maybe that means there's half truths in this so uh, clarify divine spirit that's for highest guidance highest truth <sighs> advancements death transformation page of pentacles Page of Wands and the Six of Cups. Hmm. Okay, so I get maybes with the Death card. But everything else, she may be telling the truth to some extent. It's definitely something she's bringing up from the past. Nothing recent though with the six of cups something that might have happened in their relationship in the past that she's bringing up but because the death card and the chariot together are the only major arcana is here there's definitely something she wants to do to change her life she wants to move forward or she has some type of goal or something she's trying to achieve and it involves transforming something changing something around I feel like she's telling the truth, but something about it, 
it has something to do with the past. It's nothing recent. It might not even be that serious because there's a lot of young energies. There's the Knight of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, all young energy. And she's using that to her advantage to change something around. With the World card at the bottom of the deck, tells me she wants to come out victorious in some way, want some shape or form. Whether it's financial, whether it's publicity, it's like she wants some type of um, recognition. She wants to win in the end. But I feel like she's bringing up something past related. Okay, so I want to ask, how is this all going to play out? What is the outcome of this divine spirit? What is the outcome between this current situation between Gucci, Trina, and Chris Brown? it's like whatever they had it's going to you're not going to hear anything else about him flirting with her or him like trying to get her back none of that i feel like that's done with she's not going to get what she wants financially um it's like he sees her for what she is now. He's not looking at her in the best light. He's not paying attention to her. The accelerated motion card and the five of pentacles, that's like the ultimate um, financial, um, it's like a poverty card. So whatever you're trying to get, you're not going to get from this situation. She's looking at that. Like, it's not coming to you, honey. Sorry. Destiny card. What is the destiny destiny it's like it was all i feel on a higher scale some people don't really care about stuff like that but on a divine deeper level it was for chris to turn his back on whatever he might have been holding on to with this girl it's like it got him to turn around and see her for what she is the authority card i feel like he's going to be on top still queen of pentacles yeah he's the authority figure it's like the emperor next to the queen of pentacles i feel like that's a sign that he's gonna determine what she gets out of this like whether it's the attention yeah it's like attention you want attention from me but it's like he's in charge more than he might believe he is so whatever she's wanting to get out of this she doesn't really even know what her aim is and it's like kind of like what did i do it for or like what can i do with it now i got the attention now what do i do with it whatever you're not going to get what you want in the end you're kind of going to be disappointed especially if it was for financial gain or some type of attention that you were hoping to get you're not going to get it and all it's going to leave you with is he's not going to ever come at you ever again he's not going to give you any attention whether it's romantically friendship wise business wise media wise he's not going to give it to you anymore it's like he sees you as the devil not good so whatever her aim is you're not going to see her get any financial gain out of this you're not going to see her get too much positive attention from this either it's like it's gonna backfire almost on her um and he's you're not gonna hear anything about him oh chris is sliding up in her dms or liking her pictures or he's following her at the club none of that stuff is like he's not even right now he doesn't he doesn't give a damn is what i'm getting he's not focused on her really it's like it's it's actually pushed him to move on move past her he's not even looking in her direction done so that's what i'm getting with that you guys we'll see how it unfolds peace and love to you guys